The World Bank, in collaboration with the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development, and in consultation with organizations such as International Trade Center, United Nations Statistical Division, and the World Trade Organization, developed the World Integrated Trade Solution, WITS. This software allows users to access and retrieve information on trade and tariffs. Below is list of international organizations that compile this data. COVID-19 test kits, imports by country in 2017. Additional product information, diagnostic reagents based on polymerase chain reaction, PCR nucleic acid test. Category, COVID-19 test kits, instruments, apparatus used in diagnostic testing. Reporter, trade flow, product code, year partner trade value, European Union, the year 2017, trade value 4 million plus, quantity 43 million. United States, 2017, 3,386,548. Oh, sorry, it's dollars. United Kingdom, COVID-19 test kits, 2017, $1,103,110. That's 22,539,600, and it's in kg. And it goes on, there's a few pages. There you go. Capture this. Spread it around. Do whatever the hell you want, but get this out. This is a real website. And these are real dates. These are real nations. These are real trade values. So, it's the World Bank. Yeah, are they gonna explain that one away, do you think, eh? Of course. You know, they've just been buying uh, fucking loads of them fucking things, COVID-19 fucking test kits in 2017. Isn't that strange, people? But, you know, the norms will put their mask on and make some excuse for it. Cheers, guys. And Representative Shane Hernandez, Republican, passed by the Republicans in the Michigan House, referred to the House Appropriations Committee June 13th, 2019, I'm going to repeat this again. It's a post I've already made. But we have this person, right? And we have this look-alike. Where some people are saying, oh my god, you look just like this other person. Anyway, she has a Facebook. This is her Facebook. This is on her Facebook, and as you scroll down, let's just move it along for you because obviously this is another video I made. As you scroll down her Facebook, aha, there we go, there we go, COVID-19 was available in 2017. 2017 so yeah if this person's found this what's this it was here in 2017 they're promoting it this place is promoting it anyway I just wanted to add that into this video but I do thank the person very much her name is Zune um, that's part of her name she put this video out and I've copied it, but it was found, it was on Facebook in 2017 and it says updates on Kerr. There it is. There it is. 2017 on this person's Facebook. Voted on and passed 
57 to 52 in the House on June 20th, 2019 to appropriate 20, $125 million in the state of Michigan for state response activities to the CV epidemic with 50 million going to the State Department of Health and Human Services and 75 million going to the Department of Technology, Management and Budget to be distributed to relevant programs. So it was passed way back in June 20th of last year. So as you can see, some people are commenting and they're saying, how did they know that this was going to be going on way back in June of 2019? how and why did they appropriate money going to um, an epidemic that hadn't happened yet. So this is from the official legislator.mi.gov website. You can start to find where this um, bill, I'm trying to find out where this person, these people got the bill from originally because um, you're basically given a bill. It's pretty rare that anyone from the house actually writes a bill. So they have to, um, we're basically given this bill introduced by Hernandez to the Committee of Appropriation. So you can take a look at it here for various state reasons. So apparently they knew that something like this was going to happen back in 2019. Kind of hard to find some of the more, more information about what specifically was put on there. Let's see. Um, so I just wanted to share this with everyone real quick so that they can take a look at Michigan House Bill 4729. Take a look at it. Let me know what you think, if you think that there's anything to this. Uh, I think it's pretty telling the fact that they passed this way back in June of 2019 to authorize CV epidemic response spending way back then. Um, I don't know if these individuals knew what was going on. It seems like it was completely passed uh, in favor by the Republicans. So anyone who says that this is you know, a partisan uh, effort, it seems like this is pretty bipartisan if it was passed. And then these are the people who did not vote on the issue, but it passed. So um, looks like people are starting to ask questions. This was 2019, one year before CV-19 happened. How did they know about this before it actually happened, asking for the entire world? Why is more money to the Department of Technology than the Department of Health and Human Services? So people say you can't find more information about the bill. I just wanted to share this with people because a couple of YouTubers have put this up, but I really want this to get out because this is a pretty damning evidence here that there seemed to at least be something in the works before, at least going back to June 2019, seems like people in certain states, representatives, had an idea about what was going on. So, just wanted to share this with everyone. House Bill 4729, look it up if you can help me find some more information on this uh, bill, especially before more of this stuff starts to get scrubbed. Um, I think it's really important we start to look up this and uh, start to ask some questions about what is going on with this.